Hi guys, I am back with another five highlights in five minutes on Vivica's Black Magic. I believe this is the third episode. I can't remember the title of the episode, but you'll see it down below. My first highlight of this episode is Steven Beck going in on slow motion because last week he forgot the choreography on stage and he did not keep going. He stopped and was fixing his pants. So it's a highlight for me because as adorable and sexy and cute and humble as Steven Beck comes across, to see him really digging somebody's behind for messing up really shows how serious he is. My second highlight of this episode is Eureka versus Darren versus Vivica. That's a highlight because I was kind of torn. I was on Vivica's side, but then I was on Eureka's side originally, and then I flopped back to Eureka's side because in, re in reality, she was correct. Darren needs to be present for all the rehearsals for this situation to work for this project to work he needs to be there making sure the guy, that the guys and the fellas have it down packed and I agree with Eureka had he been in every rehearsal the incident that happened last week when they forgot the choreography would not have happened so I'm actually I'm say I'm I'll say I'm team Eureka on this and I kind of don't really get why Vivica didn't really understand that Eureka was doing her job. I feel like she was doing her job. She noticed she, she's the, I think she's the show producer or something like that. So, I mean, granted, show producer means you just produce the show. You don't follow choreography because Viv did check her and said, you know, what's she, your job, Yuri? Your job is not choreography. But I mean, you don't want to stay on a sinking ship. And if Darren isn't there, I think the ship will sink even though when he's there with his whack dances it's kind of going to sink regardless my third highlight of this episode is penetration's makeup in his interview like his face was beat i looked at corey and i said corey penetration's makeup is sickening like he looked so handsome like for him to be uh supposedly heterosexual male. He looked really, really hot with his makeup in his confessional interview, whatever you want to call it. My fourth highlight of this episode is white chocolate in his family. It was so adorable to see him with his son, but I paused and gave a side eye that they included his girlfriend, his fiance, his baby's mother, whatever she is to him. I'm kind of like, this show is about uh, exotic dancers and sexiness, and we don't want to know that these fellas have girlfriends and wives and main chicks. We want to see them be sexy. And like I said, I was fine with his son because that was adorable, that father and son moment. But the girlfriend, boo, you could have stayed in Miami. My fifth highlight is Alvester versus Javanta versus Vivica. Alvester is truly a drama queen. Like, Alvester, you are a bitch. And I am so glad that Vivica checked him because he was totally out of place for coming at Javanta. Like, the choreography that uh, Alvester put together, that little penis jerking thing was so wet. And it wasn't even like you were jerking a big kibasi dick. Y'all was jerking like a child size dick, like three inches. So that was not sexy. I agree with Javanta. It didn't make me wet. It didn't turn me on at all. Um, yeah, but he was definitely out of pocket for approaching a female like that, especially one that was brought on board to make this project better. She didn't intentionally come to attack you. She came because Eureka hired her to replace Darren, which I thought was a great move on Eureka's part. And that's what it was. But like I said, I'm glad that Viv jumped in at the, when she actually heard about it or found out about it and checked him. Like, stop being a drama queen, be a team member. You are not a leader. No one designated you as a leader. And I love what Vivica said, that I will micromanage you if I choose to because I am the damn boss. Now, I'm done with my five highlights in five minutes, but I definitely have a bonus highlight. And my bonus highlight is the choreography that Penetration came up with. Okay, 
I felt like that shut Alvester all the way down because I was living when Penetration had his four fellas, well it was three of them, it was three fellas additional, but it was four total on his team. When he had them riding that damn chair, ooh! My God, I got a little wet. Like that is what exotic dancing is about. And it was funny because Vivica was like, oh no, oh no, too sexy, too sexy, too nasty. I'm like, I want my exotic dancers to be nasty. Be nasty, give me the nastiness. So I was happy to see once we got to Lunell's birthday party that they did not remove that riding the chair move because baby, I was giggly and wet just from watching them do that move on the television. So I can't imagine what it made you feel like in person. <laughs> These are my five highlights in five minutes with the bonus highlight. Like I said, that penetration, I am loving him more and more. Even though you guys know that Bolo is my boo and my baby dad, which he always comes in. And at, not, to, not to mention, he was on that team with penetration. They killed it. But I'm loving penetration more and more. I just love what he gives to the show. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you leave comments in the comments section. I love them. I love conversing with you guys about the show. Let me know what your favorite highlights were. Let me know if I need to focus in on more things, more dancers, more people each week. And subscribe to the channel. Thumbs up this video. Follow me on all social media outlets. You know my handle is at Mr. Ty Couture everywhere. And I thank you guys for watching.